Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV with the first update video of the year of the Global Speed Stick competition. Yes, we're gonna be looking at how fast you guys have been sailing so far this year. And there are some big speeds out there. So stay tuned to the end to see what the top speed has been. The Global Speed Stick competition is open to absolutely anybody with a sailing boat. All you need to do is get out on the water with some sort of GPS device. Get out, see how fast you can go. Let me know, get on the stick. So we're starting off in 40th position so far this year with a speed of 13.6 knots sailing Lake Washington, Seattle, USA on a Hobie 18. We've got Henrik and Yannick and here we can see Yannick just practicing before heading out. Very nice. Then in 39th and participating in the Hobie Getaway Speed Stick Challenge on Maui, Hawaii, we've got Ryan, Joseph and Lillian with a speed 13.9. Notching it up, um, only just getting out on the water for the year, we've got Scott dropping it in the slot solo on the Hobie 16, Cultus Lake, Oregon, USA, 14.34. Then in 37th, and check out this 77 Flamer uh, with Andy and Angela, Mission Bay, California, USA, with a speed 14.6. Then just a bit quicker, 14.68 on the Hobie 14, sailing in Seattle. We've got the Hobie 14 of Eric in 36th position. Then in 35th, no stranger to these events, we've got Chris sailing with Richard on the Prindle 19, Galveston Bay, Texas, USA, 14.69, and we are cooking on gas. Then with a speed of 14.75, right here in Vasiliki Bay, Lefkus, Greece, sailing a laser standard, yes, monoholes are invited to get involved on the speed stick, We've got Paul, we've got Paul. Then back to Maui on the NACRA 500. We've got Joseph and Ryan with a speed of 14.77. It is early days for the speed stick. What Ryan is doing is getting the speed logged so that then he knows what his target speed is to beat. So it doesn't matter if it's not your personal best, I'll just record whatever your top speed is of the season so far. Then with a speed of 15 knots, Galveston Bay, Texas, on the NACRA 5.7, we've got Michael and Chris, great stuff. And then in 31st position, we've got Ollie sailing the Top Cat K2, single-handed, in Germany on Bad Joissonnermeer, speed 15.12. And then in 30th, sailing on Lake Huron, Ontario, Canada. We've got Steve sailing solo on the Hobie 16 with a speed of 15.4 knots. And then cranking it up on the Taipan 4.9, we've got Tim and Randy sailing on Arcabutla Lake, Hernando, USA, uh, with a speed of 15.9 knots. Notching it up, for Rob Evans, solo on a Hobie 16, Hemlock Lake, Michigan, USA, 16.6 knots. Absolutely boosting it there, Rob, great job. Bit quicker, 16.8 knots, and we're going down under to Lake Burley, Griffin, Canberra, Australia. We've got Steve and Spencer, Spencer just 10 years old, and they are sailing a Hobie 16. This is great stuff. And then back to the USA, to Inks Lake State Park, Texas. We've got Carl and Regan sailing this absolute stunning Hobie 16, the Queso Cat. Uh, these sails, incidentally, have been styled and painted by Chris Picknally, who does custom sails for 
the Hobie 16 or any different type of boat, if you want your boat to look as cool as this, then you know what you need to do. But Carl and Regan getting a speed of 16.9, very nice. And then we've got Bobby Bruce sailing a Hobie 16 solo and no trapeze in Pennsylvania, USA with a speed of 17.10. Then on the NACRA 5.2, we've got Bill and Maureen sailing on the Admiralty Inlet near Port Townsend, Washington, USA, with a speed of 17.10. Notching it up, speed 17.37, Lake Simsee, Germany. On the NACRA 18, we've got Max and Andre in 23rd position. In 22nd position, we've got Steve and Dexter Dexter, just 13 years old, sailing a Hobie 16 on Wagaloot Lake, New South Wales, Australia. Speed 17.4. This is cooking the goose. I bet that was a lot of fun. Staying down under, heading to Tasmania on the Tamar River for Nick and Felix on the Hobie 16 with a speed of 17.8 knots. This is really great. Keeping it down under, 18 knots, Darwin Sailing Club on the NACRA 570. We've got Kieran and Alex, and this has got to win the prize of the most harrowing experience on the speed stick. Shortly after setting this speed, the guys capsized. Both sailors lost contact with the boat, which led to a very long swim in shark infested waters. Fortunately, Kieran and Alex got back to the beach, all limbs intact. But we will be looking at tethering in an upcoming video on Joyrider TV. And then in 19th position, we've got Scott and Scott. Uh, Scott on an away day in Seabrook, Texas, sailing the Prindle 18.2 Special Frank and Kitty with a speed of 18.10. And then with a speed of 18.2, we're heading to Oahu, Hawaii, USA. On the Hobie Tiger, we've got Trevor and Scott really sending it out there. And then sailing solo on the Hobie 16, we've got Justin, Fort River, New Jersey, USA, with a speed of 18.2. If we have got two speeds, which are the same on the speed stick, it will be the one that has arrived more recently that gets the higher ranking, although effectively it is a tie. And then it's 16th position for Mike and Scott sailing a Hobie 16 on Lake Buchanan, Texas, USA, with a speed of 19.03. Notching it up with a speed of 19.17, sailing on Lake Lanier, Georgia, USA. No stranger to these events, we've got Dave sailing on Steve Collins' boat, keeping the dream alive with Will, uh, with a speed of 19.17. Off his hands, Dave, doing a great job as always. Then in 14th position, we've got Kuba and Anya sailing an F-18 Nacra Infusion on Turusqui Lake, Poland, uh, with a speed of 19.40. Great stuff. Then keeping it in Europe, we've got Jeroen and Tom sailing the Hobie 16 on La Gangui, France, with a speed of 19.6 knots. Great stuff there, guys. Now, you may ask, how come there are not so many speeds coming from Vasiliki, Lefkus, Greece? The reason is, if we had an open door to speeds coming from here, most of the speed stick would just be Vasiliki, Lefkus, Greece because this is one of the easiest places on the planet to sail fast. But Paul has snuck in there on a Hobie 16 solo, sailing from here with a speed of 19.79. Great stuff there, Paul. And then this is very exciting, leading so far the Hobie Getaway Challenge with probably the most pimped getaway on the planet. We've got Declan uh, sailing in Drevken, 
Stockholm, Sweden, with a speed of 19.9. Is a Hobie getaway going to hit 20 knots this year? Stay tuned and find out. Sailing in Coltus Lake, Oregon, USA, we've got Scott dropping it in the slot on this 16, 20.25 knots, very nice. And now we are in ninth position for Scott sailing with Chris on his classic tornado called Fast Furniture, Somerville Lake, Texas, USA, 21 knots, very nice. Now that is really cooking the goose there. And then we're heading to Lake Weber, Queensland, Australia, where we've got James on the 16 solo. You should check out some of James's videos. James knows how to send it. Oh yes, speed 21.05 knots. And then from one James to another, very different though, sailing on Alton Water near to Ipswich in the UK. We've got one of our own instructors from the Wildwind Beach, James Deaton, sailing his Wasp at a speed of 21.6 knots. Yes, we want more Wasps on the speed stick. Everybody's invited. Foiling boats, low rider boats, classic boats. Why haven't we seen an optimist on here? Get on the stick. All right, and then in sixth position for Chris and Lutz on the Hobie 16, sailing on Amersey, Bavaria, Germany, with a speed of 21.6 knots. We've got Greg on his Hobie 20 Miracle in fifth position, this time recruiting speed expert Scott on the Texas City Dyke, Texas, 21.7 knots. Great stuff there. And then in fourth position, we've got Eric and Jill sailing the Hobie 18 in Melbourne, Florida, USA, with a speed of 21.9 we are absolutely sending it now. And then notching it up with a speed of 22.3 knots. Now this is serious stuff. Sailing out of Torquay Sailing Club, Victoria, Australia. On a Hobie 16, we've got Brendan and Lana. And this was actually during the Victorian stake titles. So to get this sort of speed during a race, now that is really something special. Great job there, guys. And something really quite special, sailing in Travemunda, Germany, on a NACRA F20 FCS Carbon. Now that is a foiling catamaran with a speed of 22.5 knots. We've got Tim on, who was lucky enough to be sailing with German sailing legend, Helga Zak on this occasion, getting them second place on the speed stick. Very nice. That must have been absolutely amazing. And currently leading the speed stick competition, no strangers to this event, um, sailing a Hobie 16 on Bodensee Lake Constance in Switzerland on a Hobie 16 with a speed of 25 point three knots. Now that has got to be getting close to the top speed for a Hobie 16. We've got David and Nick. Now perhaps could it be the fresh water offers less resistance, allowing the boat to steam through harder? I don't know, but this is some serious speed. So there we go. That is the leader board so far on the speed stick. If you're not on the speed stick, get on the speed stick. If you wanna know how to sail your boat faster, check out this video here. Otherwise, I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.